What's up YouTube? Having a little day out with Tom. Right. We are at Layston Abbey, which are some 14th century ruins of an abbey of pre-monstrantation canons. Sounds like a cream for that. <laughs> it does sound like something you go for the doctors for, doesn't <laughs> it? But the, uh, the abbey's there behind us, so uh, we're going to go and have a look and see what this history has in store for us. Laceton Abbey is one of Suffolk's most impressive monastic ruins and has some spectacular architectural features. It was founded in 1182 by Ranulf de Granville, Henry II's chief justiciar, and was dedicated to St Mary. In about 1363, the abbey was moved away from what was evidently a rather unhealthy location on swampy ground and rebuilt on its present site. The old abbey was dismantled for building materials, though a fragment of it still can be seen, and as a result of the 14th century abbey incorporates some Norman features. Robert D. Alford, Earl of Suffolk, oversaw the rebuilding of the abbey on a much larger scale than the original and included several new chapels. The outside walls were finished with fine checker work while the windows had delicate perpendicular style tracery. The abbey was home to Augustine canons who followed the Premonstrantensian rule. Their domestic buildings were damaged by fire in the 1380s and rebuilt. After the suppression the king bestowed the abbey on his brother-in-law, Charles Brandon, Duke of Suffolk. A farmhouse was built into the corner of the nave and north transept and the abbey ruins were used as farm buildings, the church itself being used as a barn. A new front was added to the house in the Georgian period and is currently owned by a music school, Pro Quarter. The Lady Chapel was also restored and refurnished in 1918. This area was the centre of the Abbey Church. The church was built in the form of a cross with two chapels on either side of the chancel, the area in front of the altar. The Lady Chapel on the left is roofed and is occasionally used for services. around it you see how big it was we're just in the, the center bit there okay. let's bear around there's a hole another section over there there's a hole another section behind me through there it's really must have been a massive massive alley I am now in the cloister, the centre of monastic life. I have entered its square courtyard through the cellarous range of buildings which was used for storage. In 1182, Sir Ranulf de Granville a local landowner and Lord Chief Justice to King Henry II established an abbey at Minesmere, a marshy area near the coast, some three miles from here. This is cool. Yeah. Yeah, you've been here before, mate. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll keep me away. If it's falling down, I've been there. <laughs> you can see here what it would have looked like a long time ago. I believe we are around here. This little tower here, I think, is the corner of this tower. And there's like a circle on the floor here, which may be 
the second tower and then see these windows here I'm thinking that is that there so I'll keep walking around and uh, see the other side but yeah this place looks massive There we go, I've just come through the window. We obviously used to be able to come through there, but there's uh it says falling debris. Little holes everywhere. Old staircase has been bricked up. Oh look. <laughs> Could have walked through here, couldn't I? Why not? And there is Tom in the lookout tower <laughs> up there. You can see the squares where timber would have would have been. There's one there. There's one further up. Timber beams would have come out. Wow! What a spectacular whole building. Howdly doodly. There's where I just was. Refectory. Refectory for our American friends. Is that not where they had the pie? Is that not where they had the cannonball? Oh, cannonball. Oi. So we found out using this map, map photo of what it would have looked like. You can see there it's broken away. You've got the bottom of the window sill there, and then like a concrete area where the floor comes out. So if you look here, that's the bottom of the the window. Obviously, the concrete bits. So the floor would have been right there at the top of my fingernail. So when I was down there, and I said about the. Um, the wooden beams coming out of these squares, I was obviously wrong. <laughs> wonder what they were falling. Where? What? The See the square the, holes? I thought they would have been timber supports. Or were they for when they were building it? The scaffold supports? Could be. Could be. I guess we'll have to ask Uncle Tony Robinson. Yeah. Sir Tony. Sir Tony himself. Legend. A couple of weirdos down there. How romantic. <laughs> Cock blocked in an abbey. Love it. <laughs> See here, there would have been an old staircase up through this corner of this tower. You can just about see the line where the stairs would have been up there. Obviously, would have continued up to the top. May well have been one on this side as well.
Right, that's our little walk around Leicester Abbey complete. Tick. Uh, yeah, there's only a mini one this time, so whack the subscribe button, ring me on my bell, add him, subscribe to him. Cheers. He's a little munchkin. Tickle wiggle wiggle. Oh, my hand's going the wrong way in the camera. <laughs> right, anyway, adios amigos. Bon voyage.